Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike from The Pipe Doctor. Uh, before I go into the video clips that was uh, filmed on site, I want to show you this example. This is what a steam boiler uh, in a residential setting should look like. Uh, just real quick, this is the Burnham Independence uh, Series uh, IN4, which is 105,000 BTUs. Uh, you'll notice all the controls are on the left-hand side of the boiler. This is the front access panel. And the piping, all of the piping is threaded black steel piping that's carrying steam. Um, beyond that, you know, we can we use copper to bring in uh, the water feed and, um, you know, everything's wired up. The sight glass, pressure gauge, low, um, pressure troll, low water cutoff. This is our transformer and all the control wiring is behind there and all the connections are there. So without for further ado, uh, let's get started with this video. But like I said, this is what a properly installed steam boiler should kind of look like. You should not have copper piping that will be um, the distribution method for steam. Plain and simple. It's I wouldn't say it's uh, not going to work, but it's just a not, not a professional installation. All right, those are my two cents, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's get it moving. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mike from The Pipe Doctor, 516-348-6300. We are located based out of Valley Stream, New York. And if you're in our service territory and need any kind of plumbing, heating, air conditioning, or commercial refrigeration uh, issue resolved, reach out to us. You can message us down in the link below. You can give us a call or shoot us an email. My direct contact is Mike at pipedoc.net. All right. It is middle of February. I was at this job last week. Um, service call was for diagnosing why the steam boiler is needing water every five minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but some people don't know. And every five minutes... This old automatic feeder was giving this Burnham gas-fired boiler more water. And uh, plain and simple, I saw it when I pulled up in front of the house. White smoke pouring out of the top of the chimney. There's a chimney that goes up to the, to the roof. Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call. I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, um, so I got this Burnham boiler. We're going to swap this out today. Uh, we're going to start by putting some drop cloths and plastic tarps on this carpet in this basement. And uh, we're going to take this all apart. If you'll notice, you know, they did the header in copper. And they actually did a lot of the piping in copper as well, which is kind of retarded. But in any case, you know, it can be done. You know, the right way of doing it is threaded black pipe with steam fittings. So we're going to rip out all this. I already talked to the client. We're going to go from here down in all new uh you know threaded black uh steel piping we're gonna this is a riser going to a second floor um radiator in a bathroom so we're just gonna cut this out there and i'm gonna transition to uh steel and uh, we'll get it done you know redo the hard for loop come down with this inch and a half uh copper which is the the wet return again this is what we're working with but we're gonna take everything out you see here and redo it and Right now, it's a little before 8 a.m., and hopefully we're done by 3. Yeah, we hustle. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. All right, so we cut out all of the piping on the boiler, the mess of electrical, brought it out here, took off the jackets, and we're looking at the seven sections. One... Hold on, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sections. I'm going to split this thing up and haul it out of the house. All right, we just finished up this Burnham Independence IN4, 105,000 BTU boiler. Finished up with a combustion test using the Testo 320. Those are our numbers. Here's the job. The steam header piping and wet return is all in copper. So we did our best to eliminate the majority of it from the steam header. And uh, this is how we put it together. On this side of the boiler, we have our pressure troll, 
which is connected to the pigtail. Behind that is the um, sight glass, the low water cutoff. Transformer for the control wiring. Transformer for his Nest thermostat. This is the zone relay for the hydronic zone, which is in the basement and also on the first floor. There's a circulator for that. Has a built-in uh, integrated flow check. That T right there is the top of our Hartford loop. And here's our return piping, Aquastat, uh, return piping, relief valve, and our exhaust piping. 